Hi, I'm Matt Muthart, the service manager at Central Parks Warehouse, and today I'm going to show you how to properly identify and measure your hydraulic cylinder. The first step in identifying your hydraulic cylinder is to count the number of ports on your cylinder. If it has one port, your cylinder is single acting. And if you have two ports, your cylinder is double acting. Single acting cylinders only have pressure one way, while double acting cylinders extend and retract with hydraulic pressure. The next step is to measure the port size. This measurement will let you know what size hydraulic port you have. Next is identifying the type of ports your cylinder has. You can either have a pipe thread port or a boss o-ring port. Both types of ports look similar, however, the boss o-ring port is actually a different pitch of thread. The other difference is, the boss o-ring port has a flat surface for the o-ring of the hydraulic fitting to seal against. After identifying the type of ports your cylinder has, you will need to measure the retracted or closed length of your cylinder. Fully retract or close your cylinder and measure from the center of one pin eye on the dead end to the center of the other pin eye on the rod active end. This will determine your retracted or closed length. Then, measure the extended or open length of your cylinder. Make sure you're in an area that you wouldn't mind spilling some hydraulic fluid, because your cylinder will most likely lose some fluid being extended and retracted. To extend your cylinder, manually place a durable metal pipe through the dead end and active end. Then, stand the cylinder on the dead end and pull up on the active end to extend the cylinder. Once your cylinder is fully extended, lay it down and measure again from the center of the eye pin on the dead end to the center of the eye pin on the active end. This will be your extended length. After you've measured the extended length, you will need to calculate the cylinder stroke or how much the cylinder moves. To find the stroke of your cylinder, subtract the retracted length measurement from the extended length measurement. The difference of the two will be your stroke. Now, we need to determine the type of mount your cylinder has and the mount width. There are several mounting options for your cylinder, such as cross tube, drilled through, and milled. Now it's time to measure the mount. Measure from one side of the mount, cross to the other side of the mount. This determines the amount of room available for mounting purposes. Then you will need to measure the pin diameter. Measure both the dead end and the active end. Next, measure the barrel diameter or the outside diameter of the cylinder. Finally, measure the rod diameter. The rod is the part of the cylinder that extends in and out. Once you've gotten all of your measurements and double checked them yourselves, give us a call and talk to one of our dedicated sales members at 1-800-761-1700 or visit us online at www.centralparts.com. This is Matt from Central Parts Warehouse. Thanks for watching.